Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Game and Tetacon video. Why have Microsoft ditched Windows 9? Why have they skipped it and moved straight to Windows 10? There have been murmurings as the reasons. For example, one of them was that Microsoft have said, well, it's so much of a jump, we just felt that Windows 9 um, wouldn't really cover it. Another theory was that they wanted to distance themselves from Windows 8 even further in the mind of the public. And indeed, a spokesperson has just said to Gizmodo, Windows 10 carries Windows forward into a new ways of doing things. It is not an incremental change, but a new Windows that will empower the next billion users. In other words, you can say that they don't want Windows the next Windows to be perceived as a small upgrade. They want it to be perceived as a large upgrade, which isn't new in software. For example, software has sometimes a history of moving from, say, version 10 all the way to version 12 or 14. In other cases, it will be like 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4, and then another iteration of the software will have like 11.1, go up to 11.1, .1, and then skip to 12. In other words, it's not always normal. But there has been another reason that people have actually started to surmise, and it's mostly coders. There was a Redditors, a bunch of Redditors actually, that have noticed that when coding, particularly if you're doing it with a couple of different um, very popular languages, for example, uh, core Java packages, it actually has various strings in it. And the string reads, I'm not going to bother to read out all the parentheses and so on, but it says basically if OS starts with Windows 9 or OS equals to Windows ME and so on. And in fact, it's actually pretty regular. Now, Jeff Atwood, who is at Coding Horror, that's a tweet, he says the news that Windows 10 may have been named that way because of starts with um, Windows 9 checks remind me of and then he provides some uh, coding horror stories and then another person at McFunkyPants says laugh out loud at the real reason MSFT Microsoft went straight to Windows 10 this code is all over the place very bold of Microsoft to name their new version Windows 10 after the number of good Metro apps that exist and I bet some of the reasons that Windows 10 is because enterprise app written 20 years ago checks for Windows 9X and in fact these guys have pointed to very similar unexpected bugs which happened way back in Intel's processor IDs with Windows 2000 and in fact there was even concern that some of Microsoft's own applications and some of the core basically commands inside the application, the OS itself, could have conflicts here and they just obviously don't want those issues. That's not to say that Windows 10 can be completely and utterly out of the woods. Some of the strings um, could explicitly bring up Windows 1.0, but let's just be honest, it's far less likely than a program or application accidentally treating it like it's Windows, say, 95. So we're left with a situation where Windows 10 certainly has potentially name string issues, but from what we're able to ascertain, it's considerably safer than using Windows 9. The other point, and something that I think a lot of the public, or many of the public um, tweets and comments that I've read, people were just somewhat confused by their decision to go with Windows 10 rather than going with, I don't know, XP2. Or, in other words, actually going with letters. Um, there were quite a few murmurings that it was just going to be called Windows. In other words, they didn't want to designate a number to it. It was just going to be just called Windows. But then the problem we've got with that, and I actually mentioned this in a previous video, it's a nightmare from the perspective of consumers. Because here's the issue. What version of Windows do you have? If it's constant incremental updates, I could maybe understand it, but that's not really how it works um, in the real world. And trying to actually fault test something, it, it just doesn't really work too well. You know, if, for example, let's assume that you're 
on an IT helpline. Just for example, uh, you're working for an ISP's helpline um, and a consumer calls up and a customer calls up and they say, uh, help me, I can't get on the internet. And you need to work, uh, walk them through the networking process or um, how to reset their IP address or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It could be slightly different for each version of the Windows. So if they don't know, and it it, for, it might sound really easy to you to find this out. Like you could look at, I don't know, system or whatever. But for someone who doesn't even know a lot of the time what? or how an operating system even basically works and I was passed I click on a button to go to the internet profit it's just adding an extra level of confusion and personally I'm happy Microsoft did go through a numbered route or a lettered route I'm not necessarily sure that I like Windows 10 I suppose from marketing standpoint it does make some sense as well to further distance themselves with 8 because let's just be totally honest here Eight isn't really popular. Um, Microsoft know that. It's not to say that it doesn't have some purpose, and it's not to say that it doesn't have some fans. I know some people who do like it, but from a server administration point of view, from a technical point of view, it's a pain in the butt um, to work with. It's not awful, but it's just not as user friendly as what it could have been. The start screen, for example, just isn't that powerful worse it's still missing features that many of us do, have just wanted for ages multiple levels of copy and paste virtual desktops and god knows what else are just there and you just think to yourself why haven't you not implemented this stuff it's available on desktop distributions of linux for example using kde or gnome or whatever that's all there a lot of the stuff and sure in some cases it's software packages but that's not the point for an operating system that's actually costing you money, you'd expect and think and assume that you would actually have this implemented. So, maybe it makes some sense. Anyway, it's a little bit whimsical, isn't it? At the very least, if this is the actual real reason, because of a code bug, they're just like, nope, can't use that, sorry. I mean, could you imagine the marketing department? So, um... Yeah, let's, uh, is everyone ready with their Windows 9 campaign? And then Bob, the programmer, comes to them and says, uh, excuse me, we, we can't actually do that. Why? Well, when we kind of put together the initial operating system, yeah, lots of people were using this statement, this string, um, and if we did this, there's a good chance that things are going to break. The marketing department was like, oh, how bad can it be? And then all he has to do, really, is just point to ME. And it's fine. Everyone understands. Sorry, guys. I'm feeling a little bit uh, humorous, if you can call that humorous. But anyway, it's it's something. Hopefully, you've uh, found this a little bit of a chuckle anyway. I have to confess, I found it rather amusing myself. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. And bye for now.